morning. Hi everyone, this is Ray again. Welcome back to my channel. Except it's a different background scenario. So you can see there's world maps, computers, desks, and chairs. It's because I am in a school. Yes, I am a teacher now. Well, not really a teacher teacher per se, but I am a substitute teacher. Okay, so if this is something that you would want to do as well, well, you are on the right track watching this video because I actually would want to vlog from time to time about my subbing journey. So this is my first year starting this job because um, I love the availability. I love how, you know, you can just pick your schedule and you don't have to be, you know, at work when you don't want to go to work. I just love it and also I love kids. So this is my chance to explore that uh, passion of mine. So welcome, I'd like to take you with me as I am sobbing and uh, show you what I have learned, what you know I can learn from the students as well. They can learn from me, I can learn from them as well. And also you can learn from me <laughs> if you wanted to do sobbing in the future. So, okay, I am in a middle school right now, and as you can see, there's no students in here. Um, actually, talking about middle school, so in the whole school district, you can substitute kindergarten, you can substitute elementary, you can substitute middle school or high school, so it depends on uh, your preference. But I actually don't have a preference right now because I am still exploring. So this is my first year to do subbing and actually I don't have any prior experience in America as far as teaching or subbing. So um, I don't have kids either, but I have lots of siblings. So I know how to handle kids and I had teaching experience back in Asia, which is in Bangkok. And also I tutored uh, some students in the Philippines. So, okay, short, long story short with what I want to do here. So I kind of figured, you know, this is gonna work for me, hopefully, because, you know, I travel a lot. I would wanna travel. I would wanna explore and maybe vacation to the Philippines. So this is what leads me here uh, to Sabe. But of course, um, you pick your own schedule. So if you wanna go to work today, you can pick up a schedule if you don't want to go to work tomorrow then that's fine nobody's gonna tell you okay you really have to go to work today unless you've already picked up the schedule then if you're not gonna cancel it you're gonna have to go to work and you know cover for the permanent teacher but anyhow um today i have a middle school and they are six grades to eight grades um and then I don't have a first period, which is an hour length for the first period. And so the class will start on the second period. So um, as per as lesson plans, the teacher is not is actually going to, that's mainly the teacher's responsibility. So I haven't had any teacher who had not left a lesson plan for the day. So basically they, have that all laid out for you um, mainly in the desk or they already have that explained to you on the rover app which is where you pick up the schedules which is going to be our topic later as well but i i just have so many things to tell you i cannot you know like lay it all at once i mean it's like huge scope we had sobbed um elementary and middle school so far so i don't know yet if i wanted to explore high school maybe later but for now um this is what works for me so i'll show you later or i'll try to move around and so you can see something i just couldn't show you the kids anyhow i'll show you guys some more later so stay tuned So I just finished my first class of the day. Um, I didn't have 
first period i had second period so that was the first class of the day then now it's third period and i don't have a class again and so what happened on the second period um, it was about 22 students and they were working on their assignments uh, in schoology which is they're working on uh, finishing a work from yesterday which was continents oceans and climates and whatnot or if they wanted to do like citizenship and representative government so whichever one they would like to work on but they needed to finish something today so um, we had done that and then there were about four students that didn't have worksheets that were posted on Schoology because they were transfers from different class so i had to give them something just so they could be busy so these are sixth graders and they actually understand that you know you can't be disturbing your classmates i mean you know they're working on their assignments so they have to be busy as well so i just had to like write down like a piece of paper and then i put down like you know you name seven continents and then you name five countries at least five countries from each continent and then i wrote down like name the five oceans so this one particular <clears throat> student he wrote down a lot of stuff on his paper so he understood the work or the assignment so now i am just going to wait till this period is over and then i'm going to eat lunch um actually probably about 11 o'clock so um I can be ready for the half day that's gonna be packed because it's gonna be back to back to back to back. So that's it. And we're just waiting for the third class after lunch.